Trail Finder Investigations. Uh, yes, I'm needing to hire a process server. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what city would we be serving? We do a lot. So the biggest points of our business are definitely service of process and then our private investigations. We do other things that kind of branch off of those. So for private investigations, we also offer bug suites, cybersecurity. We also do things like background checks, skip tracing that may have something to do with the court documents we're serving to missing persons, to stolen property. Um, I have a daughter who is um, having a long distance relationship with somebody out there. She's, 19, she's only 19 and uh, she's 19, so they're legally adults. <clears throat> but I just want to get some background on the family. Yeah, of the person that she's with. I saw you do like a full background check. Yeah, so we offer a comprehensive background report. It'll pull information from 13 different agencies across the state of Colorado. That includes court records, any arrests that may have happened, marriage licenses, etc. So typically what I would need to get that started, first name, last name, if you have a old phone number, a current phone number, old address, current address, date of birth, anything like that, I'm typically able to find everything I need gonna sound <laughs> a little funny but I've really just always been curious about this whole process uh, I'm a sucker for jury duty <laughs> I'm the one that gets it in the mail and I'm like yes uh, and when I get chosen for the jury it's just like oh my god I go home and I tell my kids and my husband like all about everything but really it's just that that curiosity level that always wanting to know how it works and having been a, a young child that went through like divorce and all that stuff with parents, I kind of had like that initial understanding of, of what some of these cases mean when they come to us. But every day is different. Every phone call is different. Every email. I mean, that's the thing. I, I've worked at a lot of administrative office jobs and you kind of know what's coming through, right? What are the office hours? How do I get there? Is so-and-so available? But here, every phone call is, it's a crapshoot. Like you really don't know. It's, I need help serving papers. It's, I'm trying to locate my son. It's, the FBI has been trying to get into my house and I know that they're serving, like just completely off the wall stuff where, you know, initially I was kind of turned off. Like, oh my gosh, there's no way this is real, right? Like there's no way somebody is watching this guy, listening to this guy, but, what I've learned is you have to take them all in good faith. You have to just take them all at face value and really truly empathize with the person, whether or not you think they're full of it, just because you don't know what they're going through. A lot of times when people are reaching out to us, especially private investigations involving a spouse or, you know, worst case scenario, a missing person, they probably already kind of know the answer we provide the facts we provide the evidence to kind of give them that peace of mind and 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 put it to a close you know so that they have something that they can take with them